RHOB fans say that Erica Jane is her own worst enemy. The discussion took place during Wednesday's broadcast of the Bravo series. Once again, her castmates brought up her embezzlement case. Erica has been desperate to move on from the case that's been haunting her for years. Even though she was found not guilty of wrongdoing, she could still be found guilty of other crimes. In season 12 of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, the cast went on a group trip to Aspen. Erica was annoyed when one of her co-stars brought up the case. She screamed at one of her co-stars as she defended her reason to keep her $750,000 earrings. IOB fans found Erica Jane's behavior concerning this season. There were prior concerns about her mixing medication with alcohol. On Wednesday's episode of the reality series, tensions were already at an all-time high. Most of the co-stars have been feuding with one another during their trip. Erica Jane was under fire for keeping her expensive diamond jewelry. She reportedly refused to hand over her earrings to a judge in June. They cost around $750,000 when she got them in 2004 or 2005. Erica's co-star Kyle Richards called her out for not showing any compassion. People died and the families are left in the aftermath. Kyle added, Erica's estranged husband Thomas Trewardi was accused of embezzling settlement funds from air crash victims. The pretty misauthor asked why she has to show compassion. Kyle added, Don't say that because you're my friend and I can't defend that. Don't say you can't have compassion for people who've asterisk 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 ing died. In her confessional, Erica Jane showed somewhat of a softer side. She expressed her empathy for the people who died in the Lion airplane crash. She admitted that she felt terrible about the incident. However, she feels that the court needs to find out what did or what did not happen to their settlement money. Erica insists that it's a different fight. Parcel Beauvast shared her thoughts on the matter. The actress admitted that she would have handed over the earrings. Erica Jane disagreed with her and maintained that she was not guilty. It's the reason why she's fighting to keep her jewelry. In the court of law, not the court of public opinion, she added, Co-star Crystal Kung Minkoff chimed in, I'm not talking about the court of public opinion. You are? Erica Jane screamed at her. Back in June, a judge forced the Chicago alum to hand over the earrings. This came after she lost her fight in a bankruptcy hearing for her estranged husband and his law firm. The bankruptcy filing has over $500 million in claims from creditors. The former lawyer gave Erica the earrings as a gift, but they were stolen a year later, according to the court filings. During that tense scene, RHOB fans took to Twitter to share their thoughts. Most of them slammed Erica Jane for her lack of compassion toward the victims. This isn't the first time she's been questioned about her behavior amid the trial. Some think she's her own worst enemy. Did you watch the latest episode of RHOBH? What are your thoughts on Erica Jane's behavior during the case? Do you agree that she's become her own worst enemy? Sound off below in the comment section. Check back with TV shows Ace for more news on Erica Jane. Channel Adams is a reality TV addict. She's been writing about entertainment and pop culture since 2006 to 7. When she's not writing about television, she reflects on early aughts culture on Substack. RHOBH fans say Erica Jane is her own worst enemy since its debut in 2010. The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, RHOBH has offered a front-row seat to the lavish lifestyles, dramatic confrontations, and complex relationships of its cast members. One of the standout personalities on the show is Erica Jane, the glamorous pop singer and wife, now ex-wife, of lawyer Tom Berardi. Over the years, Erica's larger-than-life persona, unapologetic confidence, and steely composure have earned her both adoration and scrutiny from fans and fellow castmates alike. However, recent seasons have seen a shift in the public's perception of Erica, as her legal troubles and personal decisions have become central storylines. Some RHOB fans believe that Erica is her own worst enemy, pointing to the way she handles criticism, engages with the other housewives, and seemingly lacks empathy in situations that call for vulnerability. While Erica's determination to maintain control of her image is admirable, it may also be the very thing driving fans away. Let's take a closer look at how Erica's actions, responses, and persona have contributed to this narrative and why many fans are growing disillusioned with her.
The downfall of a glamour queen when Erica Jane first appeared on RHOBH in season 6, she quickly captured the attention of viewers with her glamorous lifestyle, over-the-top music career, and fierce independence. Her alter ego, Erica Jane, was a bold, sexy, and confident persona that contrasted with Erica Gerard. Guarded wife of Tom Gerardi. Fans loved Erica's no-nonsense attitude and her ability to command a room without needing validation from others. She wasn't afraid to be different, often reminding the other housewives and the audience that her life as a pop star was not up for judgment. However, the tide began to turn in season 11 when Erica's personal and legal life came crashing down in front of the cameras. The once untouchable Erica was suddenly embroiled in a major scandal after her husband, Tom Brevardi, was accused of embezzling millions of dollars from his clients, many of whom were victims of tragic accidents. As Tom's legal troubles mounted, Erica's financial entanglement with him raised questions about how much she knew and whether she had benefited from the alleged fraud. For many fans, this was a turning point. While Erica maintained her innocence and denied any involvement in Tom's wrongdoings, her cold and detached demeanor left viewers with more questions than answers. Rather than showing vulnerability or empathy for the victims, Erica seemed more concerned with defending her own reputation. Her refusal to break down or show remorse made her seem more robotic than relatable, leading many fans to conclude that Erica's biggest obstacle is not the legal battles she faces by herself. Deflecting accountability One of the primary criticisms fans have leveled against Erica is her unwillingness to take accountability for her actions or even acknowledge the broader implications of the scandal surrounding her. While Erica has consistently stated that she had no knowledge of Tom's business dealings, her insistence on playing the victim has rubbed many fans the wrong way. Instead of addressing the concerns of the other housewives or offering genuine sympathy for the victims of Tom's alleged crimes, Erica has often deflected, claiming that she too is a victim of Tom's deceit. During season 11, Erica's defensiveness reached new heights as she lashed out at her castmates for questioning her version of events. In one memorable confrontation, Sutton Strack expressed doubts about Erica's story, asking if Erica was being truthful about what she knew. Instead of engaging in a meaningful conversation or acknowledging Sutton's concerns, Erica exploded with anger, threatening Sutton and delivering one of her now infamous lines, Or what? Or what? For many fans, this moment encapsulated the frustration they felt with Erica. Rather than confronting the hard questions, she has consistently chosen to shut down any critique or curiosity directed her way. By refusing to be introspective or acknowledge how her behavior might be contributing to the backlash, Erica has alienated herself from both her castmates and viewers alike. The Ice Queen person Erica's carefully crafted persona has always been that of an Ice Queen, cool, calm, and untouchable. While this image served her well in earlier seasons, when her life seemed to be one of luxury and excess, it has become a liability as her personal life has unraveled. In moments that call for raw emotion, Erica's stoicism comes across as cold indifference. Viewers have noted that, while Erica has shed a few tears on camera, these moments often feel calculated rather than genuine. One particularly stark example of this was during season 12, when Erica was questioned about her lack of empathy toward the victims of Tom's alleged fraud. When Barcel Bova asked Erica if she cared about the people who lost their money, Erica's response was shockingly dismissive. I don't give a f asterisk 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 about anybody else but me, she said, leaving both the cast and fans stunned. This kind of rhetoric has only fueled the perception that Erica is more concerned with maintaining her own image than with addressing the real harm that has been caused. Fans have expressed frustration at Erica's lack of accountability and empathy, pointing out that her self-preservation tactics are doing more harm than good. Instead of winning sympathy, Erica's coldness is driving viewers away. Alienating the cast and the audience, Erica's attitude toward her fellow housewives has also contributed to the growing sense that she is her own worst enemy. Throughout seasons 11 and 12, Erica has consistently clashed with cast members who have expressed concern or questioned her involvement in the legal scandal. From her explosive arguments with Sutton to her icy exchanges with Garcelle, Erica has isolated herself from many of her co-stars.
Even longtime friend Lisa Rinna, who has historically defended Erica, began to waver in her loyalty during season 12. Rinna's own legal troubles, coupled with Erica's erratic behavior, seemed to strain their relationship, leaving fans wondering if Erica's inability to let her guard down has cost her some of her closest allies. What's more, Erica's often confrontational approach to her castmates has left fans questioning her ability to form genuine connections with the other women. While drama is in...